What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition program with us TV. Now in this class we're going to look at something very very simple, something that you can of course include into a project, that is a pin view, okay? We're going to use this third party library which allows us to create this beautiful pin view right here. You can see for example the first one, in this first layer we can use numbers as our pin, for example I can enter and of course you can see the selected text box is being adjusted automatically as I enter right here, okay? And then when I f finish, it shows us the value. So we're going to see how to obtain the value, of course, in a given pin view. That is for numbers. Then you can also have for text. For example, we can enter text right here. That is the pin view for text. Then the number password, okay? Then, of course, text password, we can also have it as well. Then we can also have a custom pin view, which you can use as desired. This is it right here, very, very simple but important, and pin, a pin view that you can use for your projects. We're writing our code in Kotlin, so let's proceed and see how to create this one. Okay, so the very first thing we'll have to do, of course, is to create our project. So come right here in your Android Studio, under phone and tablets, choose the empty activity, then click next. Of course, you come right here, you type your app name, package name, you choose the location. Now, our source language will be Kotlin, okay? We are using Kotlin right here. Then, of course, our project is going to support instant apps. We'll go with minimum API level of Android 4.0.3. Click finish, we proceed. So, once you've done that one, then, of course, come right here under our gradual scripts. Of course, we have two files, the project level as well as the app level okay so in the project level we're going to add of course we're going to register this jitpack.io as one of our repositories now of course the library we're going to use which is the pin view library it's going to be fetched from right here okay this is the repository of course that is hosting that library so that's why we're adding it right there once you've done that one, then of course come over to the other build.grad, the app level. We all we need to do is to come and then add this pin view right here, okay? This is the latest version, 1.4. It's a third party library, so just add this one. Of course, and once you've done that one, then of course just click sync to download it, okay? Now the first time of course it require internet connectivity for us to be able to download the library and then of course add it to our project once you've done that one then of course the next thing for us is to go over to our resources under the drawbars of course if you download the project you're going to get these shapes right here okay example casa example drawable example drawable with gray disabled right here these three okay so you'll find them in the project then of course come over to the layout activity main.xml our root element is going to be this linear layout of course it will have vertical orientation then we're going to have of course a text view as you can see number then we have the pin view for the number you can see some of the properties that you are playing to our pin view okay so input type of course you can see the number right here then once you've added that one then of course for the text we we'll also have this pin view to right here and then of course number password okay this time round the password equal to true then text password you can see input type text and then password true and then lastly we're going to have of course the custom pin view okay input type text so yeah this is it right here this is going to make up of course our activity main dot xml okay so of course don't forget to add your dimensions we have 16 dp activity horizontal margin as well as the activity vertical margin the colors we are not adding any unique colors the strings nothing unique and then of course the stars there's also nothing unique let's now move over to our code and then type our code so open up your main activity the only import we need to add of course is the pin view of course the others have probably already been generated to you by android studio our main activity is extending the app compatibility. activity proceed and write the following code so 
private fund initialize widgets then var pin v1 equal to find v by id r dot id dot pin v1 then pin v1 dot set pin v event listener then pin v then from user then toast dot make text then main activity dot this okay as our context then pin view dot value then toast dot length short then dot show then var pin view 5 equal to find view by id r dot id dot pin view 5 then pin view 5 dot set cursor shape r dot treble dot example cursor then pin view 5 dot set text size 12 pin view 5 dot set text color color dot black pin view 5 dot show cursor true then at override fun on create saved instance state bundle then super dot on create saved instance state then set content view r dot layout dot activity main then initialize widgets and that's it okay that's the only code we need to write of course to have our pin view writer of course we, def we did define several pin views but we're only going to listen to the event listener for this pin view one if clicked not necessarily if clicked but of course once the user has actually typed all the data in that pin view we're going to show the value writer okay once the user has typed the last item we're going to show the value so that is in our pin view one we also have pin view five where we're using of course we're setting of course this example cursor which we had looked at under our resources just to show you guys how to customize the pin view okay does it this is it this is all we need to do right here to create that simple example go ahead run the project so that we see what we have okay so of course you can see the code written in android studio very very short and concise of course this is kotlin to run the project just connect your android phone you'll see it right here then you click run okay if you're using an emulator you'll, you can also choose it right here and then click run alternatively you can come and then build the apk and then drag it over of course to your device okay so that's it Please make sure you subscribe to our channel Program Users TV if you want tips and tutorials like these ones. We also have premium courses in Udemy. You can also check them out. You can also check our website for projects that you can use. Okay, that's it. Take care. I'll catch you in the next class.